and she's crossed south, like I say. There's some water back there. Let me show you. Oh, and then little cubby tracks are here too. I need to unplug myself, Brian, otherwise I'm going to break all my wires. Yes. So behold here, here's the here's Karula's tracks. Now I'll just put my hand next to it. Can you still see okay, Brian? Put your hand on the other side. There we go. Right? Perfect. So you can see about the size of my palm, basically the size of my palm. And then here are the cub tracks here. So they're about, oh, I'd say half the size of Karula's, but they're already much bigger than a civet track. And they've gone wandering down here. You can imagine the two of them walking behind their mother, playing along. And then she has crossed over, and I suspect they are in this block somewhere, lurking about. We don't want to stress them out without their mum with them, though, so we'll probably leave them be, except to say... You see, it gets horribly tempting now because there are tracks going straight in here. Straight down there. Anyway, I think we've done enough uh, fossicking about today. We might just turn around and go up Shibamu Road as opposed to this road. <laughs>